in today's episode we will talk about some amazing feats of Muhammad Sahab when Muhammad beat some people with his own hands two types of people do not beat anyone themselves first those who are very nice people like me and the other those who are very bad people who themselves don't beat or kill anyone but they keep their man for this work so today's episode is going to be very funny so don't make the mistake of leaving this video in middle so hello friend welcome to abhay nagwansi fighting incident number five kicked the sleeping person first of all let us show you how muhammad sahab kicked a man who was sleeping so this is about time when muhammad sahab was going to the masjid and he found a homeless man sleeping on the way without saying anything the prophet kicked him and said come on stand up this is the sleep of hell incident number four physically handicapped person was beaten up after this beating another funny anecdote of muhammad sahab is found when he beat a handicapped person you will get angry after hearing that a handicapped person killed but you will laugh to hear why he beat that crippled man because he had a physical relationship with a god it is absolutely true that according to a hadith a woman was caught having sex when the prophet come to know he asked after all with whom the answer was found with a handicapped person and then muhammad sahab took care of him that is he was handicapped beating him with a whip made of palm leaves means troubling people in their personal life without any reason today most of the government around the world know that when people fall in love or marry on their own free will it is their personal matter but the islam of muhammad sahab is still the life of 1400 year ago is living and even today in islamic countries people are flogged for physical relations incident number 3 beating of wife best grade of lucy act thinking yourself profit and rising hand on wife is such a thing in islam the thing from which even the most knowledgeable of the world cannot tell you what to do this thing is in quran so it has to be implemented giving a higher status to women allah named a chapter in quran in the same name of women surah e nisa then wrote in verse number 34 of the same chapter that a higher status is achieved by man then further wrote that a man can be beat his wife if he is afraid of disobeying his wife actually this noble work was also done by our beloved prophet once the prophet suddenly disappeared in the night yes friend when there are more wives one has to disappear what was it then as a followed and reached where does this man go at night to see the prophet now nabi felt that maybe someone was following me and he run back home in fear asa also run along with her and went home before nabi but prophets were prophets just like that they became prophets seeing asa shortness of breath it was understood that today this call made me run what was it then nabi angrily said to asa that what do you think i will do in justice to you and by saying this he hit aisha chest due to which aisha also felt pain wal hadith is in front of you who where has doubt go to the nearest maulana wearing a helmet and ask incident number 2 a drunkard was beaten up again interfering in the people's life according to a hadith by bukhari the messenger of allah made a letter of palm leaves and hit him with sores on the servant of allah who drank the wine prepared by allah for information tell that beating the drinkers was their daily work it is proved from this hadith that prophet muhammad used to beat 
दोल्कोहॉल एवरी डे इंसिडेंट नंबर वन बीटिंग पीपुल अप फॉर वियरिंग गोल्ड यस अकॉर्डिंग टू सुन्ना नसाई हदीस फाइव वन फोर जीरो वेन द प्रोफिट आ ए गोल्ड रिंग इन देंड ऑफ ए वुमेन हे स्टॉटेड हिटिंग हर ऑन दी हैंड आफ्टर विच दिस वुमेन कंप्लेन अबाउट द प्रोफेट टू फातिमा द डॉटर ऑफ प्रोफेट नाउ डोंट मेल्ट ऑफ्टर रीडिंग द नेक्स्ट हदीस फातिमा गॉट स्कैर्ड एंड टुक ऑफ अ गोल्ड चैन फ्रॉम हर नेक एंड सोल्ड इट इन द मार्केट आफ्टर दैट ही बॉट ए स्लैब एंड फ्रीड हिम नाउ हियर यू डोंट थिंक दैट मोहम्मद साहब हैड सेड दिस सो फातिमा did it because she felt that my father is a prophet would he like it but the truth is that muhammad did not want that a slave should be given freedom without any reason because we get one such hadith in which one of his wives freed a slave woman and when they give this good news to the prophet prophet said that it would have been better If you had gifted that slave woman to your uncle so don't think here that freeing a slave is the best thing to do in Islam because the one who shot their first arrow during jihad gets the same reward as the one so our beloved prophet was like this the person who has misled people till today with his words and has misled them till now that people are ready to be had him for him so see you in the next video till then jai hind jai bharat vande mataram